Hi, my name is I Will Dominate from Team Liquid, and this is my basic jungler guide to Shivana. After the recent Devara changes to Shivana, she benefits from that item probably more than any other jungler, so she became a lot more potent in solo queue. Um, if you go Devour into Bork, you can do a lot of damage in teamfights, and you can farm the Devour faster than um, pretty much anyone else and have it become sated. Uh, I give her a 10 for clear speed because I think she's probably one of the fastest clearers. Her ganks are fine. I'd give her a 6 because normally when you're ahead and you have like a red buff and you go chilling smite on her, you can catch up to people and you can actually um, catch people off guard. And then overall, I'd give her a 9 because I think she's um, pretty strong in solo queue right now. It's really hard for teams to abuse you before you um, get your 30 stacks on Sated Devourer and you can actually carry a game on her. Ganking on Javana is something that you don't normally prioritize. You only go for ganks that are obvious, and you pretty much need to have your chilling smite up when you do go, go for those ganks. So normally you want to come from behind somebody. If they're pushed up in a lane, smite them, E, and then just W at them. Try to auto once and then Q to reset your auto, and that'll be your like burst combo. Once you're six um, and you have the, um, uh, the ability to gap close onto them, you normally want to walk up to them, use the same combo, and then use your ult after they flash or use their gap closer away. On Shivana, you normally only want to counter jungle when you see the enemy go for a gank and there's no available ganks that you can go for, you can't go for dragon. So it's pretty rare and you only want to do it if you know the camps are up and you can um, get the gold efficiently because you want to make sure you're power farming the whole game with Shivana. You don't normally want to get out of your rhythm and go to camps that could potentially be down. So I don't think Shivana's main job is a counter jungler, but if you do it, you have to make sure that you're doing it in a rotation of camps that make sense so that you're getting your early game lead, which is a big strength of Shivana. Team fighting is one of Shivana's weaknesses when you go this type of build. So normally you don't you do want to split push, but when you do get into a team fight, you want to be able to use your damage to pick off squishies because you'll kill them in one or two hits. So um, normally you want to kind of stay on the flank and then try to ult into their back line and just E auto uh, then Q um, onto somebody in the back line and that'll do enough damage to normally kill them. Obviously use all the actives you have and just try to do as much damage as possible. Shivana works really well with champions that have shields because they can put the shields on Shivana and allow you to chase people down and not have to worry about your health pool as much. Um, I guess if I were to name three champions that synergize super well with Shivana, I would say Janna, Orianna, and Lulu. Orianna specifically, um, there's a combo where you ulti in and then once you land, the Orianna casts ulti and it just pretty much is a harder shockwave for them to dodge than normal. For Lulu, it's mainly about the Lulu just spamming the shield on you, speeding you up, and just having you chase down carries with wild growth. And then for Janna, it's mainly about the AD that you gain from the shield. Um, and the ability for you to go in, kill somebody, and then on your way out have Janna disengage for you. On Shivana, you want to start your grub and do a full clear without doing the blue buff because blue buff isn't important early on Shivana. Um, this will just get you like a fast level 3, uh, you'll be a couple experience level 4. Then you back and then you do the same path again, this time including the blue buff. So you you essentially farm 11 camps in your first um, clear, and that's going to get you a far ahead, and that's how you get your power farm jungle path um, going. Purple side is exactly the same as blue side, where you start Gromp, you do a full clear, then you back, and then do a full clear again, this time including your blue buff. This tip is mainly for how to stack Devourer efficiently on Shivana, um, rather than just the Shivana tip, since Shivana is a very basic champion. The tip that I have is try to prioritize um, crabs, and as soon as you get Devourer, you can solo Dragon and go for those Dragons, because uh, let's say you get uh, three crabs over the course of um, five minutes, and you get one Dragon, that right there, um, gives you 11 stacks, which is almost, which is over a third of your devourer. So if you mix in doing camps and killing the crab once you have your devourer, um, it won't give you the experience lead on Shivana, but it will give you um, the stacks that you need to have your devourer become sated and actually become strong in the game. Runes for Shivana are super easy. You use 15 AD, which is 80 marks and 80 quints, then you use flat armor seals and CDR glyphs. Masters are also super easy on Shivana. You go 21 offense, 9 defense, going the standard attack damage masteries um, that you could use on Lee Sin, Katzix, or any other AD based jungler. Um, you pretty much want to get the standard AD masteries, which is um, CDR, uh, Sorcery, which um, combos with your glyphs and gives you a lot of flat CDR, Butcher, Feast, um, Double Edged Sword, Brute Force, Martial Mastery, Spell Weaving, Blade Weaving, Executioner, and Dangerous Game. 
three points of devastating strike and then one point in havoc and then um, you want to do nine defense where you just put the standard nine defense that you use on any jungler which would be two points block one point unyielding three points veteran scars one point juggernaut and two points stuff skip on shimato you want to start w first get q at level two e at level three then max out w and then q um, you obviously want to get your ult at 6, 11, and 16, and that'll be the optimal skill order for Shibata. On Shibata jungle, you want to go the new Seda Devourer. Um, so you build Devourer first, and um, after that, you can get Boots and a Vamp Scepter and turn that Vamp Scepter eventually into Blade. Um, if you're doing well in the game, you can have those as early as 13 minutes. And once you have those two items, you'll be super strong, um, and after that, you just normally want to go tank. Um, you can turn your boots into Mercury Treads or Tabby, and then go Ran Nguyen's, um, Spear Visage, and then Thorn Mail, normally. Thanks for watching my basic jungler guide to Shivana. Be sure to check out my other guides at lawclass.com.